All right, there's Maggie, and she's excited. Hello, my girl. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna bear the brunt of the jump for you guys. <laughs> Hello. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't seen you in a day. Yeah. It's been a weird video to make, guys. It just feels feels a bit um, weird going into the enclosure and doing this Ask Meg without Amy present. Um, you know, I'm less emotional than I was a week ago, guys. I'll tell you that. Last week, you just need to mention the name Amy and I'd start to, um, my, you know, the tears would well up in my eyes. And uh, I've, I've cried a lot in the last week, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'm still not 100% uh, right. I mean, it's, each day gets easier, as I'm sure it will. But I am positive about the future and we need to be positive. Uh, lots of good things happening. Lots of good people out there have been sending their support. So yeah, we're going to try and move, move forward. Um, we're not going to, we're not going to um, forget about Amy. We're going to hold her near and dear to us as we do with all the other animals that have passed in the sanctuary. Um, and we never forget them. Their, their spirit really does live on here at the sanctuary and um, the memories are always there and the lives that these animals have touched is unbelievable so hope you enjoyed today's video continue watching and uh yeah we'll chat just now oh yes oh whoa, whoa. who's roaring who's roaring my girl eh? eh who's roaring how are you somebody's actually asking me the other day why doesn't Meg jump on me anymore and uh, whoa knocked my camera Joe that tail is like a like a whip <laughs> let's ask her Meggie why don't you jump on me anymore huh tell me why don't you jump and the reason is is that she's old um, so a 17 year old lion is like saying why doesn't your 80 90 year old grandmother jump on you or uh, you know play rough with you anymore for a granny cat I can tell you now Meg is still in ex excellent shape and she um, looks most people think she looks as though she's only about um, five six years of age so she's really uh, fearing well <laughs> 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 Oh my girlie. Yeah, I really must just say that this is gonna or is one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make. Let's go somewhere where it's a bit more private. Come. Come sweetie. Come. When asked um how is Meg faring? Meggy? How are you faring my darling? So what I do noticed is that Initially, she is very excited to see me because obviously it's familiarity and uh, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's what she would always do, you know. Um, Kev's been away, now he's come back and, and obviously, yeah, she would, she would run up and, and give me hugs and kisses as would Amy. And then they both would saunter off into the bush expecting me to follow. But that part's not happening. So, <laughs> so she's generally um, sitting there and almost, I don't know, waiting for something to happen. Um, so I went away to the bush uh, hoping she would follow. But actually what she's done is she's just coming to the fence line and sitting there waiting on the fence line, um, waiting to see what's happening here so she's trying to obviously be more interactive with the people um, or with the lions on either side of her and at this point in time we have Suja and Bongani on the one side um, and as many of you will know <laughs> we did um, <laughs> we did try and introduce uh, Suja Bongani um, to Meggie a while ago 
and then we also then tried at a later stage to just introduce uh, suja which also failed dismally um, probably because Meg and Amy were quite happy to be together um, so she's trying to just come here to find some shade I think uh, you're sitting in the paper thorns oh my gosh these lions ah, it's in it <laughs> so these paper thorns are horrible things I can't get one it doesn't look like much but these little things cut you to pieces especially if you just sit down on them they go right through anything and prick you in the bum um, so they're not the most comfortable things to lie on or sit on but yeah for a lion that's not a problem uh, so it seems as though uh, Meg is wanting to be uh, around her species so she does spend time on the either the fence where Suja and Bongani are or move them there on Friday um, and or where George and Yami are she seems to uh, prefer uh, George to the rest George does seem to also have eyes for Meg she's not mourning or, or, or crying out like I have heard in the past with other lions where they actually um, vocalize oh oh um, which which would obviously um, indicate that they're upset about something they're grieving something um, in the past we have seen that the grieving um, is more um, because they're feeling alone than the actual grieving of something or the loss of something um, confirmed by when you then put that line with another line that stops and as I said earlier there's some things that happened with Amy that even my mind is still boggling um, the one particular thing was her waiting for me to get back from um, my vacation uh, a vacation that we actually um, even had doubts about whether we should even go um, but then convinced we were convinced to go because you know what, what would the point be of, of of being here anyway she was getting the the best treatment that she could and even towards the end um, it, it, she wouldn't even take food from me so that was that was that so I'm not unhappy that I did go away um, obviously it was a difficult time um, but um, what I do know is that behind the scenes I think Amy was waiting for me to return and as weak and as fragile as she was um, she waited and I got back on uh, late on the Saturday so on the Sunday morning I spent some time with Amy um, and could see the inevitable and could see in her face and in her eyes I'll never forget the look um, yeah the the look was was really interesting because she picked up her head and gave gave a call she went wow and she hadn't moved all week apparently but she she actually got up onto a position like Meg is in now and uh, she yeah she looked at me and as if to say I'm glad you're back so um, I'm glad you're back and now I can now I can pass on uh, that was the look I'll never forget that and uh, she flopped her head back down and I sat there and stroked her head and tickled her chin and did all the things that she loved um, to be done to her but I could see she was she was um, in at peace. Um, so a very emotional time, um, crying my eyes out, telling her it was going to be okay. And uh, she she got the message because a few hours later she passed. Um, so definitely something in that she waited. Um, whereas if you had seen her, you you would have been surprised um, so yeah they how did she know how did she even know when I was getting back who knows but I think she was just waiting for me to return uh, that's yeah that's Amy um, 
<sighs> I don't think one can explain uh, the connection that one creates with these big cats. I think people think it's very it's very black and white, it's very easy. You should you, you, you should just do X or Y. The path with Meg and Amy, 17 years of the most remarkable times. Hello, my girl. The funniest girl ever. Look at you, beautiful. Daddy loves you. <laughs> You're very confusing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was quite an interesting um, encounter with Meg, and certainly um, it starts to get me thinking more and more about what's actually going on in in poor old Meg's mind um, you know so many things run through my head based on 22 years of experience of working with lions so you know I've I started out having absolutely an emotional kind of connection with lions and then as I started to work with lions I started to realize that sometimes it was uh, me humanizing or anthropomorphizing the lions which i always say to people be careful of doing that with animals such as lions because they are wild animals and they don't think uh, like humans who have evolved to um, be empathetic um, uh, towards certain things all right guys so that brings us to the end of this very different hashtag ask Meg video let us know your thoughts. Comment in the comment section below. Um, we do trawl through those and uh, um, you know read them and, and take to heart what you're saying, guys. So if you've got a, a, a good statement or an interesting thought process of, of what I've just said, please do um, share that with us and uh, we'll try and answer it either in another hashtag, Ask Meg. Maybe this can be an ongoing Q&A thing. You know, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for always, as always, for watching the videos. If you do like, please do share. Um, join the channel. If you're not, it's for free. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. If you want to go one step further than that, you can become a member for a nominal amount per month. Um, you'll get access to um, in-depth other content. Um, and uh, it really does help us to uh, pay the way for making these videos and make them better and just give you really um, stuff that you want to see and it does help with everything that we do here at the sanctuary as well as uh, the foundation the contribution does go towards the foundation too so there we have it thanks guys thanks for watching till next time bye <laughs>